Now, I'm sure that this is not the first or last review that you'll see about this game. But this is mine, so, you know, deal with it. So, in the year 21X who gives a crap, robots exist. Now, normally, robots help society. But, a small percentage of robots go absolutely batshit insane. Now, for some reason, these insane robots decide to attack a highway. I don't know, don't ask me. So, in response to this, a maverick hunter is dispatched. And in this case, it's Mega Man X. What a coincidence! And this is when the game truly begins. So, you know, you begin at that, and you know, you shoot some brown dudes and some flying dudes. And is that a B? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Whew, it's dead. Oh, my goodness, I was worried. I almost had a heart attack and everything. What the hell? There's another one? You know, I'm like running by, minding my own business. Hey, are those guys riding cars? I want to ride a car. Hehe, <laughs> I ride in a car. Haha, <laughs> yay. Alright, time to get serious. At the end of the level, you must meet Vile. And Vile is a dick. So, as far as I'm concerned, Vile orchestrated the attack on the highway for some reason. Well, anyway, you fight Vile, but Vile is riding a mech. So, bing, bang, boom, you get captured. You literally have no way out until... Zero is literally the most badass character in video game history. Even Vile, who you couldn't even damage, is like, oh hell no, I'm out of here. So after Vile zips the hell out of there, Zero turns to X and says, Hey, you'll get him next time. Just go beat up some animals or something. You'll get better. So that's exactly what we're going to do, because if Zero says something, you know damn well I'm, go I'm going to do it. All right, so uh, yeah, so the first thing we got to do is kill a penguin, then an eagle, a mammoth, a monkey, an armadillo. Okay, sure, why not? An octopus, a kuwenga. The hell is that? Okay, so uh, apparently a Kwanger is a type of beetle, whatever. And finally, a chameleon. So uh, after beating up all the animals and absorbing their power, X finally meets up with Zero again. So X says, hey man, look at all the stuff I got. I got some dope ass armor and some new powers. And then Zero says, yeah, uh, tell me about it later. But first we gotta go uh, kill the final boss. Who's that? I don't know, some guy. Okay. So they make their way through the castle and encounter Vile. And Zero's like, X, I got this one. And after you follow them, you see that Zero got himself bamboozled. And uh, you see that Vile cheated because he's riding his big ass right armor because he's a giant dick. So you try fighting him, but... So, Zero heroically summons up all his energy, breaks out of his containment, and blows himself up. So, Vile is like, huh, what? what the hell was that? So, X summons up all his energy, straight up goes Super Saiyan, and Hadouken! Vile to death. So, X goes up to Zero, who is on the ground, battered and bloody. And Zero says, X, you're the only one who can save the Earth now. Go and avenge me. And then X says, okay, see you, next, see you in the next game. And then Zero dies. So, X continues on alone. 
and eventually comes to face to face with Sigma, the final boss guy for some reason, who says, So X, you are finally arrived, but you still have to prove yourself. Fight my dog. Hadouken! So Sigma, enraged that X killed his robo pet, straight up pulls out a lightsaber? This man is literally Darth Vader, but without the costume. Damn. And then, this banger starts playing. But, eventually, with perseverance and a Hadouken, you defeat him and his freaking head falls off? But, this only makes him stronger, cause, you know, he's a robot. And, you know, his ultimate form is a gigantic dog face. Well, I mean, I've seen worse. The fight even isn't that hard. You just shoot balls in his face till he dies. And uh, that's the game. But I'm still not done talking. Now, let's talk about the combat because it is perfect. X controls beautifully. Whatever buttons you press, he will listen to you. His main method of attack is to shoot things in the face, but the more bosses you defeat, the more weapons you obtain. And each one of the bosses is weak against a different boss's weapon. It's like Russian Roulette, except you're the only one shooting. In addition to all this, X can also dash, climb walls, break bricks with his thick ass head, and shoot Hadogans. X can also equip armors to his base form, increasing his power even more! However, unlike every other thing that you collected, these armory pieces are kind of hard to find, and you even have to fight a mini boss, you know, for one of them. And honestly, after you collect all this, you're OP as hell. But it's also good game design because, you see, in the beginning of the game, you're so weak that Zero has to come and save you. But by the end, you're the one trying to save him. And you're the one who did it. You fought all the bosses and found all the armors and overcome every single challenge. So not only did Mega Man grow stronger, you got better at the game as well. So now let's talk about the characters. X is the goodest best boy ever. You know, for someone who kills people. X is like the Sean Bean of the Mega Man franchise because he's usually dead in these games. But in this game, it's the first time he died, so you know it's incredibly effective as a narrative tool. So the next guy is Vile, and Vile is a dick. That's really all I can say about him. His biggest personality trait is that he's an asshole. And then there are the Mavericks and they don't really get any development because they're mostly cannon fodder. Sorry, but that's kind of it. And finally, there's Sigma. Sigma in this game is just some guy. All you know about him is that he's the main bad guy and that he used to be a Maverick Hunter, like X, but that doesn't really come up until like three games later, so what you going to do? So, you know, pretty good for a game that came out in 1994. And finally, let's talk about how good this game looks and sounds. This game runs fluid as hell. The graphics are as smooth as hot butter on toast. And the music is basically crack for your ears. Just listen to this. Just check this out. If you've never played this game, then go right now. 
You can practically find it on any gaming platform. Hell, you can probably even play it on your phone. Although I wouldn't recommend it because it is the worst, worst version of the game. But it's perfectly playable when you're on the shitter. I would recommend that you play the SNES original, but the game is perfectly playable on every other platform as well. So I hope that I've convinced you of why this game is so legendary. So go out and play it and enjoy yourself. Or don't, I'm not your dad. <laughs>